Um, but that is all I have. That's all of my stuff that, that has survived. Send nudes. Hashtag not sponsored. So I may have told an untruth. <laughs> When I said there were no more Warhammer models from my childhood collection, I thought I thought at the time that was accurate. It is apparently not. Uh, my father has dug up some more treasures, uh, and he sent these to me, and I legitimately don't know what's in them. For the first time, for the last one, I had somewhat of an idea. It was like the armies that I collected. They were in my, my childhood bedroom closet. You know, it was familiar territory. This one though, I, I have no idea what's in this box. Uh, we're about to find out together. So uh, let's get this cracking and see what we can find. Got some actual packing material, always great to see. What the heck is this? This is an actual box. It's a, it's a shoe box. He sent it in a shoe box. <laughs> this is actually a challenge to remove. Sperry's top siders. Get wet. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's see what we got inside this here. The first couple videos were definitely like the bulk of my collection, I think, but this is equally exciting because I legitimately have no idea what Oh, oh, we got some sprues, okay. Stuff that has been primed on the sprue. You love and or hate to see it. All right, let's, uh, let's get organized a little bit. All right, we got our work cut out for us here. We got, we got some goodies. First, we got this little pamphlet from probably circa early 2000s, 2002, somewhere around there, I would presume. Just a catalog of the various Warhammer Fantasy products that uh, Games Workshop provides. Another sort of interesting piece of lore here, Artemis, another Inquisitor model. The model doesn't appear to be here. Artemis was another Inquisitor model that I, I believe this one I purchased myself. And he is a Death Watch Space Marine, and he just looks sick. Twice the size of a normal Warhammer model, and they looked awesome. If if we can find this model, in this in this sort of hodgepodge of things, that'd be sick. But I'm not I'm not uh, super hopeful about. It. We got a couple of random bits here. We got some Space Marine shoulder pads, Chaos Space Marine shoulder pads, some orc arms, some guns. Over here, this one is interesting. What we got here is the terrain that came in the starter box for third edition, <laughs> which are these weird sort of like jungle plastic trees. Uh, they look pretty terrible. <laughs> Even if we painted these up uh, and primed them and like put all of our effects on them, I think they would not look very good, <laughs> but that's just uh, how it was back in the day. Uh, I think the newer box sets tend to give, or some some of the newer box sets that leave, at least tend to give like a decent amount of terrain, so that's like pretty sick. We got a couple of plastic trees here. All right, uh, over here, we got a little baggy of stuff. Let's, let's crack that open. Actually, before we do that, uh, we got a bolter, a solitary bolter, a solitary, uh, shoulder pad there's like one incomplete marine Ooh, backpacks that's actually quite nice to get on this fruit those are some nice bits some decent bits we got this baggie here and i have no idea what's in this so let, let's uh let's unpack that and see what we got all right we got we got some stuff here this is the sort of machinations of my younger kid bashing self so first things first, we got the sword, 
We got the sword of Mr. Artemis here. This is way bigger than a Warhammer model sword, so I can only presume. So, not all hope is lost. Artemis, he exists somewhere, if only in the hearts and minds of our children. <laughs> here we have what appears to be, yeah, the first video in the series. We found a horse, a chaos horse. This appears to be the rider for that horse. Didn't finish painting him. No idea why. That is not stuck on well. <laughs> but it's still stuck. Barely. <laughs> we also, if you remember, I talked about that space marine who was herding like Tyranid drone sort of things. And he had, I told you he had some sort of, sort of like SWAT shield. We found the shield. I wasn't lying to you. But that is all I have. Uh, so that's pretty sick that we have now the full model of that guy. Plus, in the same vein, we got the head to our Tyranid warrior convert with what appears to be some sort of thing, biological implant on his head. Uh, and his face is absolutely drenched in blood, it looks like, because it's awesome. Because <laughs> it's sick. <laughs> so there we go. The actual margins for this, quite decent. I would even argue, skillful. Oh my god, I lost focus again, dude. Please. Just want to show off my cool model. I'll take some photos of it later and maybe insert those in because it really does not want to focus on this thing. Also, uh, in the same project, we got a little ripper with more Play-Doh mods. He's got a, a ammo belt coming out of the side, a bolter a muzzle grafted inside his mouth. Like that is that's pretty sick. Warrior head here from just a normal warrior. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm running a normal warrior. Got some big old claws here. Don't know what these are for. Probably a lictor or something like that. Shoulder pad and uh, a jaw. We got a we got just a, a lower jaw here. So yeah, some some little random tiered bits. Got some orc bits too. A large claw that has been painted and bloodied. This, whatever this dark tone for that blood color was, that's a, that's a great color for blood. I have no idea what this is. It's a cylinder with some spikes on it. <laughs> that's, that's what it is. It's a cylinder with some spikes. I couldn't tell you what this was supposed to be. But it's probably made up and doesn't have rules. <laughs> uh, we, got this, we got this metal stick. And I'm honestly not sure what that belongs. If you've seen this model... Please let me know in the comments, because I I honestly don't know where this could come from. It's not much to go off if I know, but who knows? Somebody might. Uh, we got a horse head, classic uh, morning bedroom accoutrement if you're in the Mafia. Here's something interesting. This is all that currently exists that I've seen of my Dark Elf Warhammer Fantasy Army. I had a bunch of lizard riders. Not a bunch, like five. Uh, but I thought it was super cool that instead of horses, dark elves rode lizards, so I got some lizard riders, and that's the head of one. Uh, I don't see the rest of it. <laughs> Chaos Space Marine Chain Swords. Never leave home without one. Uh, we got a big bolter. This looks like a heavy bolter of sorts. It's Chaos Space Marine, I can tell by the skull. <laughs> They got skulls on, on their stuff because they're the baddies. Have you noticed that our caps have actually got little pictures of skulls on them? <laughs> I don't, so... Hands. Are we the baddies? This is something that I am genuinely confounded by. Here we have a backpack glued onto another backpack. Uh, but for what reason and why... I have no idea. Maybe it was a, supposed to be a heavy weapons guy. Uh, but yeah, I glued on two backpacks and shaved off part of one. We got a variety of skulls. These ones painted. Can 
never have too many skulls in the 40k universe. Head on a pike, if you're chaos, you know, never leave home without it. Death of the False Emperor and all that. Good stuff. Here's something. It's a big old bird head. No idea what that's from. <laughs> I honestly don't know. If you've seen that boy, let me know. Looks to be of chaos origin. Chaos, chaos, a lot, lot of chaos. Here's another kit bashing job. We got a bolter and I, a bolt pistol that I just stuck a, a large bolter end to, I think. Yeah, got, got some kind of bolt pistol, just glued on a big old bolter end to it. Not sure what that's supposed to be, but you know, it's a cool idea, I guess. <laughs> now this is where things get interesting. This right here, this spear, fully painted, fully articulated. This is my brother's. When I was collecting Dark Elves for Warhammer Fantasy, I made my brother get some Warhammer Fantasy models, and I don't think he remembers this at all. <laughs> but he picked up some armies of Bretonia uh, to play against my Dark Elves and Chaos. And that is what these little boys are here. And that's why we got four horses. The four horsemen of Warhammer Negligence. Unpainted, unprimed. <laughs> Uh, a dude with a straight up flag on his helmet. It's kind of badass, not gonna lie. A straight up snail. There's a snail on this crew, and I don't know what it's for, but it does exist. Looks like cloves of garlic. A, a straight up rabbit on a spit rack. <laughs> um, all right. GW kind of hit different back in the day, <laughs> I guess. We got another rabbit. I don't know why nobody does. In fact, uh, this is a bag of, of actual miniatures, so I'll get to that. You know, it's kind of funny. All these parts kind of smell like my family's basement. It's both gross and a little nostalgic. <laughs> when you're dealing with uh, stretched flesh over a shield and a bunch of pointy arrows, it can only mean chaos. Now here we got some primed on the sprue. Uh, straight up Bretonian knights. And look at these heads. They don't make them like this anymore. Literally, Bretonians got canceled. Uh, I don't know why. This dude's got antlers. This guy's a straight up dragon on his helmet. With the dragon has a sword on the helmet. <laughs> like they they hit different, dude. They hit different. We got like some eagles and griffins and all sorts of goofy stuff on these helmets, man. Uh, this helmet right here this helmet has a unicorn on it <laughs> this one has a pig it's legit it's got a pig being stabbed with a sword it's a pig being stabbed with a sword dude bretonia hits different man bretonia was all about the knights and they had some normal dudes too they had some normies too but if you weren't a knight it was like don't don't talk to me these are the foot soldiers that i think actually did get painted so at least some of them did. Some of them are just primed, it looks like. So you know how I know that my brother doesn't remember this army? He was at my folks' place when my dad found this stuff. He took a look at it and he said, I don't know what this is, this isn't mine. But I'm here to tell you. I'm here to tell you. That's yours. The stuff, the stuff, that, that's yours, dude. <laughs> this ain't mine. <laughs> I guess it is now. <laughs> Uh, let's let's take a look at some of these dudes though. These would have been my brother's paint jobs because I you know I'm not painting his stuff. Guy's got a flagon. He's got a straight up freaking uh, kegger going on over here. Cup included. Spigot tapped. <laughs> Man's got his priorities straight in the battle line. You know what I mean? Here we can see like a, a better sort of color scheme. Very primary sort of a superman thing going on a little bit decent job on the the studs here okay i'm not, I'm not gonna fault him for that you know what i mean a little bit of a, a wash on uh, on the face there to get some darker tones you know hey ooh, look at that look at that this must have been one by by her father here <laughs> got, a, got a little dark wash and the the quilting on the leather there we got some nice stripes going around this i don't think this was done by my brother yo he's got a little dog a man's got a dog. The beer guy, definitely done by my brother. 
some of these other ones? I don't think so. And then we got my man, the standard bearer. This one was probably done from my brother, just judging by the evenness of the paint or lack thereof. A stump with an axe in it, cause why not, I guess? You know, you're on the battlefield, sometimes you just gotta chop some wood. We got a horn, cause uh, you know, how are you gonna go to battle without some jamming tunes? You know what I mean? This right here though, this is a homemade missile pod, I believe for a dreadnought, a chaos dreadnought. And it's literally some tape with some cut off match sticks that were that were painted. These are just straight up match sticks that were stuck in a little a little box of tape and uh, and painted over. And that was on my brother's chaos dreadnought, I think. <laughs> All right, we got a couple more sprues here. Got some chaos warrior heads. Nothing, nothing. Honestly, compared to the Bretonian heads. The Chaos Warrior Heads are a little bit of a snooze, to be honest. And here is maybe the last remaining evidence of my Eldar army. A nice amount of bits, to be honest. I'm going to probably put these to use. These are some good, solid Eldar bits. We can stick these on some Admech Tech Priests and get some a little bit of Tech Heresy going, you know what I mean? The Emperor! Uh, and then we get to the homemade terrain. We got a bunch of these axes, uh, which I believe were kind of homemade tank traps. You just kind of like scatter them on the field, spread them out a little bit, and boom, you got a barrier. You know what I mean? Easy peasy. And the coup de gras, this boy right here. This was originally, I believe, some sort of jail cell or something like that. It had more kind of sticks in it here. But it had like sticks going across here and it, you, you stood it up like that and it was just a piece of terrain that you could like put some dudes in. Uh, this was from an old model kit. I don't know which one. Ooh, added some, some boat holes. Nice weathering. Me. <laughs> Maybe that was for the Inquisitor thing actually. It's actually a perfect fit. This is almost definitely the original model container for, for Artemis here. But uh, I think that's that's all that's in the box. A couple bits of terrain, some sprues, and some some good old fashioned bits. Plus my my brother's <laughs> entire Warhammer Fantasy army. Last time I said that was all I had, but I honestly don't know anymore. Uh, my Dark Elves, they're they're MIA. Uh, my Vindicator tank is MIA. Land speeders MIA. There there are some things that I know I had that are either uh, either lost forever or, or hidden somewhere in, in my folks' basement or something like that. So, is this all I have? Who knows? If there is more, you know I'm going to be making videos. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this and you want to see more, I'm going to be doing more hobby-oriented stuff on the channel lately. I just need to figure out some a couple, like, logistics. If it seems like stuff is doing well in that direction, then I'll, you know, invest more into it. Uh, but thank you guys for hanging out. Obviously, please subscribe to my channel if you're if you're not already doing that and you want to see more videos of hobbying or art. I do both types of content here. And um, I will see you guys next time. Peace.